What's up, Fight fans? Osborne and McCarty are back after a pretty long absence. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about that at the end and kind of explain where we've been for a while. But let's get right down to it. we got UFC 114 coming up here. Uh, and we're going to try our best to go over most of the fights. Some of them we can't get into a lot of details. But first fight we're talking about is Efren Escudero versus Dan Lozon. Matt, we'll throw it over to you. Who's going to win and why? Um, I think Efren's got the cardio. He really impressed me with his hands. Not in his last... Well, in his last fight, even though he lost that one, but the one before, he, he really impressed me with his hands. I think he's going to knock freaking Dan's head off. I, I really think it's going to happen. Dan's going to gas after about a minute and 30 seconds and get his head ripped off. So, Efren and KO. Nice. Jared, what do you think? Uh, you know, I don't think that Efren's going to knock him out, but I think once uh, Lozon's cardio is gone, I think it'll open up uh, room for a submission. So, I'm going to take... <laughs> Second round submission, Efren. Nice. Yeah, you definitely read my mind, Jared. Um, both these guys are coming off losses. They both have a lot to prove. But Efren, I think, is the more talented guy. And Lozon looks like he's gotten caught in submissions a few times, and that's not a good idea when you're going against Efren. So we'll take Efren with the submission win. Uh, next one, we got Amir Sadala taking on Dong Hyun Kim. Uh, I'll start this one off. You got Kim, who actually has never lost. He, he did lose, supposedly, to Caro in our little side bet. But that was actually ruled in no contest because Kara was doping or something like that. So uh, you got uh, Dong versus Amir. That's tough, man. Kim has got some pretty good judo. But Amir is really coming into his own. He looks more confident in each fight. So I'm leaning towards Amir. I'm going to say Amir takes this one. I don't think he's going to finish Kim, but I'll give him the decision win. Matt, what do you think? I I'm going to agree with you completely. I think he's just going to work Kim for most of the fight. Might get thrown once or twice, but he's going to grind him out in that clinch on the outside and the inside, wherever he wants. So yeah, Amir, decision. Nice. Want to make it three for three? I was going to, but since both of you chose decision, <laughs> I'm going to say Amir is going to finish it. I'm going to say second round, KO knee. Really? With a knee? Okay, I can buy that. Okay, uh, Diego Sanchez is coming back to 170. He's at welterweight. He's taking on a uh, British guy, John Hathaway, who I have seen a couple times. Uh, the two fights I have seen have gone the distance, but Hathaway really looks like he's got good cardio. He's always pushing to end the fight. I think he's a good fighter, but I think Diego might be just a little too much for him. So I'm going to say uh, Diego pounds him out probably third round. But Hathaway, definitely a promising guy, definitely coming up. And we'd like to see him do a little bit better, but Diego's just a little too tough for him right now. So I'll go Diego. You guys want to agree with that one? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. I, I don't think that Diego's going to finish him, but I'll take Diego decision. Okay, Matt, yeah, what do you think? I'm going to have to agree with the decision. I was thinking maybe TKO, but John Hathaway, I think he's going to get it out. Diego hasn't really impressed me in his last fight, so yeah. Diego's probably going to try to strike for two rounds and then realize that he should take him down and win the decision. Yeah, that's his bread and butter. Uh, next fight, we got Little Nog, uh, Antonio Ro Rogerio? Ro Rogerio. Oh, yeah. Rogerio, yes. Yeah. I gotta get my Spanish going here. Oh, sure. Little Nog, that's what we call him. Yeah. <laughs> Taking on Jason Brills. Now, let's be honest, we're not really excited about this fight. It was supposed to be against Forrest Griffin. That didn't happen. There was rumored that uh, Bones uh, Jones got asked for this fight. Couldn't do it in the, the short amount of time, so they're throwing Brills. Brills is not a pushover, but I don't know, man. With, with Little Nog striking, I just don't see Brills really being able to put much of a fight. So I think uh, Little Nog's gonna finish this one. KO second round. What do you think, Matt? I, I think it's going to end faster than that. I think it's going to be the first round, probably around the fourth minute, four and a half minutes. Yeah. Uh, That's pretty little, specific. I like it. <laughs> Why not, right? Little Nog, TKO, four minutes and 32 seconds. Okay. First round. You know what? I actually had this one picked via TKO like Matt, but in second round like Josh. So TKO, second round. All right. Next we got Todd Duffy taking on Mike Russo. Um... I don't know, man. Todd Duffy definitely got uh, some attention with that seven-second knockout, but I'm a little concerned for him. I, I think, like, they're just overhyping him so much that nothing he does in this fight is going to be good enough. In fact, I think there's even a small chance he might lose this one. I'm not picking against him because he's definitely a beast, but whew, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go and say Duffy does finish it, TKO, second round, but I don't know. I'm just Something kind of bothers me about this fight. I, I can't really say why. What do you guys think? I, I'm going to agree with Josh. I think he's going to finish the fight. I'm going to say first round. If he's going to win the fight, that's how it's going to happen. If he doesn't, he's going to get grinded out and lose. So, uh, yeah, minute and 30 seconds after that, I don't think he can win the fight. I'm just, I just don't know enough about him. He just didn't show enough. Okay, I agree with you, definitely. Jared? Uh, you know, i got to go with a uh, six-second KO. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Honestly, I have no idea how this fight's going to go. We haven't seen enough of Duffy and... Uh, Rousseau, he seems to be a pretty tough guy, but, you know, 
Uh, I just have a hard time picking belly over abs. <laughs> so Look at their pictures. I'm going to go with Duffy via I have no idea. The abs win it, huh? The abs got this one. Okay, uh, amazing that this one is actually a co-main event. we got Michael Bisping taking on Dan Miller. Uh, I'll go ahead and start this one off. Um, Dan Miller's a scrappy guy, but I've never seen anything out of him that just really blows my mind. And I wouldn't say I've, I've seen anything that blows my mind about Bisping either. But overall, I think Bisping has enough to edge him out here. I don't think he's actually going to be able to finish Miller because he is a scrappy guy. He likes to take it down to the ground and kind of just rough it out. But Bisping has just enough skills. He'll take this one decision. Matt, this is very interesting. <laughs> I want to hear what you have to say about this. I think Bisping has a slight edge in every department. Uh, I, this is crazy, right? I'm picking <laughs> Bisping decision. I think if he gets on top of Miller, he's going to have a good enough top game to stay out of submissions. I think he can beat him on the outside striking. So Bisping, I'm giving you one, dude. You better not lose. <laughs> wow, that's a threat there. I like it. Jared? Well, uh, you know, there's been one thing that Bisping has amazed me with. It's how soft he punches. <laughs> he does not knock people out. He's been saying that it's about time for him to knock someone out. Not going to happen, Bisping. I'm sorry, but you're good, but not quite that good. I'm going to give you a decision. Okay, I like it. I like it. Do we all agree? Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. All right, main event. Let's be honest. This is why anybody's going to order the pay-per-view. you got Rashad Evans taking on Rampage Jackson. Probably more trash talk in this matchup. I mean, then I've seen, I mean, Ali has Love nothing it. on Rampage <laughs> and Rashad in this one. This is pretty amazing. Now, what's actually going to happen? Uh, Jared, I'm going to go ahead and throw it over to you. Ooh. You've heard everything. We know these guys pretty well. What's going to happen in this one? Uh, some serious black-on-black -black crime. <laughs> <laughs> like that it? That is what's going to happen. Uh, you know, uh, Rashad didn't impress me all that much with his last fight. You know, he kind of got rocked. I can't remember. Tiago was, 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 yeah, was, was the third. Yeah, was the third round. Later rounds, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think if he gets clipped by Rampage, he's not going to stay conscious. So I'm leaning towards Rampage via knockout, but uh, Rashad definitely, uh, he, he might grind this one out also. So yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards Rampage. You're going for the KO then? I'm going for the KO. Yeah, you definitely hit it on, on the head with this one because it's either Rampage KO or Rashad decision. Because I honestly don't think Rashad can knock out Rampage. Watch it happen. We might see a repeat of that, that Chuck fight. What do, you, what do you think? Would you agree that it's one of those two? I think Rampage is good enough defensively standing that any of Rashad's punches are going to get through clean enough to knock him out. When was the last time you saw Rampage rocked in the United States? Never. Never. So, I think, you know what? One time he got rocked, that's when he was slamming the guy down and hit his head yeah. on his opponent. <laughs> yeah. That was when he was rocked. Seriously. But it's, you know, I'm going with Rampage. I think Rashad is going to bring the fight that Rampage excels at. Rashad's going to bring the pain, man. He's going to come at him trying to finish, and that is when Rampage is the best. Vanderlei Silva knocked him out when he was pushing. Chuck Liddell knocked him out when he was pushing. Didn't do so good against Forrest when he's kind of back a little bit, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. Same with Jardine. Mm -hmm. so Rashad's going to bring it, but he's going to get knocked out. Wouldn't that be interesting if Rashad tried to take it down to the ground, like the whole game just decided to implement the That'd wrestling? Smart, man. Me, yeah. I think that would be smart. That would be yeah. very, very Greg Jackson-ish to he's do that. that. He yeah. won't do that. There's too much pride on the line. And because of that, that's why I gotta lean towards Rampage because I think Rashad is just because Ooh. of his pride is gonna want to keep it standing the whole the whole time. But never count out Rashad. We've done it so many times and he's proven so us wrong. Many. So we will take Rampage three for three. Okay, that's it for this one, guys. Um, well, I just real quickly want to explain. I've been out of town for three months. These guys are, are working their jobs. It's pretty crazy, but really the blame has to come on me. <laughs> and and I guess we're being lazy. Yeah, that's, that's maybe also part of maybe. It, you know? We we'd like to get it to the point where either one of us could put out a video, so if you know one or, or two of us is gone, we could still do it. But sometimes it just doesn't happen. So guys, we apologize. We love you as fans, and we appreciate all the, the the feedback and stuff you guys have been giving us and encouraging us to come back. So sorry the quality's not quite there. We're doing this on an iPhone, but we wanted to get something out for you guys. So uh, keep the letters coming, and we'll do our best to get more videos coming out. But I'm Josh Osborne, Matt McCarty, Jared McCarty, and sometime in the near future, we will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>